All right, so I've been um at the three chapter three to five on white cargo, and it's getting interesting. Like it's been interesting, but it's like hell interesting now. So like the, the three or four kind of talking about children, how basically it's like they just went scooping up n children left and right, like white niggas back in the day, because it was this so rampant of so many people on top of just like it sounds like a New York on steroids back then of what is being rampant and nothing to do. And they were like, you just can't be out here doing nothing. So, or even if you are, we need we need bodies over there. So simply put, beyond like the criminality that was apparently like hyped up in, in England at the time, it's just the, the management mechanism of needing bodies to ship them to basically oversaturate the area. You know what I'm saying? They needed, because no, no civilized person really wanted to go there. Like managers want to go out there because they can crack the whip. But most people really don't want to do that. Even like John Roth or some shit. Them, them niggas didn't really want to go to America. You know what I'm saying? But they kind of had to. They had to make this money because they were, you know, they had to get the feet they sit. So, anywho, a lot of people come out there. A lot of people came back. But like, a lot of people came back only to rich folk. You know what I'm saying? But the people that went over there were like stolen children. So, like, they would just grab up kids left and right, say, oh, we're going to get you a uh, training and being a craftsman at like a. Uh, woodworking or a mill or some shit like that all these different types of you know uh multi-layered marketing schemes of life's enslavement uh, or indentured servitude however you want to call it and that was one angle for the children so they was getting picked up left and right saying hey we'll get your daughter to come out here and uh she'll be like uh trained in like sewing or some shit whatever whatever they pimping out children left and right they find any reason to basically say sign up for this school sign up they'll be you know they'll be fine you know what i'm saying you'll give you a little bit of money later and basically this is that's for people that sold their kids that's other people in the street they just grabbing kids left and right for any reason this is basically prostitution these criminals america has built these uh, these pilgrims there's a bunch of criminals so they came over so mad deep I did like some horny dudes. They couldn't fuck with the locals. Locals ain't giving them no pussy. You know what I'm saying? So they just all mad. So you gotta bring us some bitches. So they brought us some like basically brothels and a lot of trickery for child prostitutes. And it was like so fucked up that they were just like so doggy dog. I gotta protect my shit. That they didn't want their slaves or other like, you know, <clears throat> white guy or whatever had slaves or whatever. And he didn't want his slaves to be attractive to his bitch. You know what I'm saying? Who was, who was wifey to his hoe import, to his slave woman, whatever. Um, so of that, he would was encouraged. That was like, yo, like, like a black coat kind of thing. Like, yo, cut off the ear of your, of your slaves. You know what I'm saying? Make them look ugly. Make them fucked up. So that means even the hoe don't want to fuck him. You know what I'm saying? He gonna have jokes, of course. He gonna make her smile. He make the cheeks giggle. You can make her mouth you can make the cheeks wiggle. You know what I'm saying? So anywho. Um... But so like these slaves are getting deformed because the, the owner's insecure and like, you know, fucked up and whatever. And he's just fucking them up left and right to make them not look beautiful. And there's other stuff like how like women couldn't get pregnant in the first, couldn't get pregnant during their contract or to be extended like two more years. Like there's so much like iTunes agreement bullshit they had going on. I'm like, that's just impressive of the massive, great design that just swept under the rug. Like we keep hearing about niggas and slave ships from Africa. And no, that's just, that's a minute portion of it. Like, it's them that got these treatments, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, oh, we don't see that in, like, American slave history. It's like, where is the Amistad of that? Or, like, <laughs> or like the Patriot, like, you know, like, give us all freedom. Like, how can we see that story, like, properly? Like, that, that's intriguing. So once again, uh, children and child prostitution wasn't aware of the depth of it. It's like, it's kind of like Chernobyl. Like, you see Chernobyl, it's like, all right, you know, that's fucked up. It's like it's layers of reading in a book versus like seeing the dramatic dramatization of it and the context of the depth of what it was created, right? Same thing with these visines right now. Same depth. And it's crazy. And, and it's, just, it's just neat. It's neat to, to know the humanity has been to that depth of normalizing and documenting it and thinking this is normal in the guise of Christianity. You know what I'm saying? And at some point in the guise of Christianity, they had to stop being so fucked up. You know what I'm saying? They had to pass laws to be less fucked up. Cause it was so fucked up rampant. I mean, and, and it's neat. It's it's it's, it's an incredible story. So I still got more to go. I'm like still midway chapter five, and once again, <clears throat> just hearing about this brothels and I, I heard about it, but I didn't get the depth of it. It is brutal. It is brutal. Just like to paint that on some like uh, revenant stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like that dark story of them just bringing them in. 
And it's these shitty contracts. It's like a, it's a shitty contract. You know what I mean? We're in a kind of shitty contract right now. It is a different, you know, lens. Silent weapons and quiet wars I'll be hearing about. So, anywho. <laughs> uh, this is where we're at. Interesting book. Three more chapters and, and a lot more to go. Peace.